Capital City, what's happening, man? It's your boy Big Keith, man. One half of the most notorious entertaining duo. I'm here right now, standing here with Sean Garrett, man. We live, Rust Bus 2008. What's happening, man? How you feeling? Man, I'm in the VA, man. I'm in my what third home? <laughs> <laughs> now, I'm, I'm, this, I'm, see, this is this is this this city's related. Or this this whole town is related to me through my little brother Chris Brown. You know what I'm saying? Okay, so, okay. So he's a VA representative. So you know, I feel at home. He told me where to go, where to hang out. If I had any problems. Who the car? You heard it from my man. Now, your career, man, is definitely not new, man. For people who don't know, tell them, man, how you got started, you know, with the whole songwriting thing, man, and walk them through, you know, how you got from, you know, to beginning to where you're at right now. Well, first of all, you know, the first song that I, um, that I actually, my first hit was, yeah, I, I, I wrote and um, co-produced, yeah, for Usher. Then that same week I did um, Goodies for Sierra. Same week? Yeah, so, so you know, I was really fortunate, man. That was really my big break. Then I started doing records for like, um, you know, of course I did Run It for Chris Brown, um, Give Me That for Chris Brown, Ain't No Way on the first album, second album did Wall to Wall, um, there's another song I did on that, um, I just want another, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> um, what else I did, um, you know, I named most of my number ones, um, No More Crying for Mary J. Blige, you know, I did all the Beyonce stuff, um, Give Me Body Check Up On It, um, Upgrade You, um, Green Light, um, uh, ring the alarm, okay. you know, and then we went before that, you know, I did like nine songs on um, Destiny's Fulfilled, Soldier, um, Lose My Breath, I'm Through With Love, Girl, um, T-Shirt, you know, Fergie's, wow. uh, London Bridge, wow. Pussycat Dolls, Buttons. And catalog, we, you build up a nice little catalog. Yeah, man. man, but then I did a lot of songs too, like um, real R&B records, you know, like um, 112, you know, we brought 112 back with um, Ask No Questions. You know, um, records like um, for my girl, Tierra Marie, How to Make a Girl Feel. You know, just did a lot Represent of work. Represent Detroit City. All day, man, all day. So I just been really, what, I, what was really important to me as a songwriter producer is that before I came out with my album as an artist, you know, I wanted to make sure that people totally respected my name. I didn't want to get out there and be dancing all in the videos. And, you know, try not to do something wrong with that, but I wanted, to, I wanted people to know that I was really a legitimate hit maker. You know what I mean? And I really love music and I really take music real serious, you know what I mean? So a lot of the people that work with me, you know, Beyonce, Usher, they know, they know I'm really the truth out of the studio and when it comes to music. Right, man. Now you started off as a songwriter. Did you always want to be an artist? And if not, what made you want to make that transition from a songwriter to an actual artist? I was always an artist, you know what I mean? I signed my first record there when I was 15. Okay. You know what I mean? I'm, I, I moved to Europe when I was five. Right. So, um, so I had an opportunity to live abroad. You know, I'm from the hood of Atlanta, you know what I mean? It's the south side of Atlanta. Um, but my, my dad was in the military, so I moved to Europe when I was five. And I lived in Germany and England, you know what I'm saying, for most of my life. But I was always coming back and forth and, and moving all over the world. So I had an opportunity to have a great deal of music injected into my life. And my mom started me out doing shows and um, talent shows when I was like four or five years old. You know what I mean? So I've been really, in, music is all my life, you know, music and sports, you know what I mean? And my mom and dad was really on me about making sure my grades and stuff were straight too. So, you know, it all it all kind of worked. So I knew when I, by the time I was 12 years old, what I really wanted to do in my life. All right, now that your, your artist career is really blossoming, are you going to continue to write for others? Or are you oh, going to keep all those songs to yourself? Oh, no, come on, man. It can't have a selfish. <laughs> it can't be living a selfish world. You know, it's just, it's just um, I have so much music, man, that, that I really like to do, like to express, and it's not necessarily for me. You know what I mean? Like, Enrique Iglesias, the record I did for him called The Meat Note, he sold like 1.6 million albums this last album. Um, well, you definitely last, can't keep that piece up. Yeah, but you know, and it's, it wasn't a record for me, you know what I mean? But it was a record that I that I did for him that, was, that could really work, you know? So I look at myself as like the modern day Lionel Richie, you know what I'm saying? I wanna, I wanna continue to build my catalog on writing a lot of great songs for a lot of great artists. And then I wanna, of course, you know, do my thing as an artist as well, you know? I've been so fortunate and thankful for all the blessings that have been given to me. Um, for the reception of my record, my first single, Gripping, was received very, very well. Um, my new single, Six in the Morning, is crazy. We just shot a new video in Miami. It's, it's, it's really crazy. I got the new single I just did for my man, Luda. Um, it's featuring me and Chris Brown. Um, it's called What the Girls Like. We're going to shoot a video for that, and that is going to be a problem. So, you know, I'm just happy, man. I'm happy to be in VA. I want to thank you all for allowing me to be here, man. It's always a blessing, no matter how successful you be. It's, it's just it's a blessing just to have people to accept you, man. Absolutely, absolutely. Now, I know a lot of people to hit you up on your MySpace page, man. But aspiring artists and songwriters, man, what kind of advice can you give them? 
you know what, just, um, you know, I'm a true testament of being positive in the heart and in the mind works, you know what I'm saying? Like a lot of people feel like when things ain't going right for them, you gotta resort to negativity. You gotta feel like you gotta step in and take from somebody else to make it. And, and I mean, I never really, that was never my approach, you know, it was just, when I wasn't, when I was down on my luck, you know what I'm saying, I always kept a positive frame of mind and always thought that God was gonna make a way for me, you know what I'm saying? It wasn't about taking from someone else. Cause when, you, when you feel like you gotta take from someone else to gain, then you, that day is gonna come back around to you. You know what I'm saying? It might be a little bit more unfortunate for you than it might be for that next person. So it's just really about hard work, man. Anybody that knows Sean Garrett, you know I've been grinding from day one. Anybody that know me in my past know that every day I work my tail off. You know what I'm saying? I was in the studio, I was hustling two, three jobs. I was still taking care of my, my, my family, you know, my little boy. I'm doing what I gotta do. It's just about working hard every day. And then when you get to that point, you know what I'm saying? You still can't stop. You know what I'm saying? I'm, right now I'm on tour. I'm going to Japan tomorrow. I'm still working for this guy studio with B. Crazy album for Beyonce, y'all. Just letting y'all know right now. It's going to be a problem. We'll be back. Hey, man, we can talk about music all day all long. Day. Sean Gary, you watching ITV right now, iPower921.com. You got some last shots? It's the World Wide Web right here. Hey, yo, I just want to thank everybody for supporting Sean Gary, supporting my whole brand. You know what I mean? I'm not just, I'm not just an artist. I'm not just a producer. I'm not just a songwriter. I'm yours, I'm the people's choice. You know what I'm saying? I work hard for the fans. I always make sure I get a fan's great music, whether I'm singing it, producing it, or writing it. And that's what it's all about, baby.